Well, welcome to day three of our um, daily reflections. And are you ready? And today we're going to be looking at Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And in all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. You know, Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 is a really well-known and cherished passage that provides profound wisdom about seeking God's guidance and trusting him completely. It also encourages us to place our faith in God rather than relying solely on our own understanding and wisdom. So, when we submit every aspect of our lives to him, he promises to guide us and make our path straight and leading us in the right direction. So, to trust in the Lord with all your heart means to have unwavering faith in his wisdom, goodness and sovereignty. So as we reflect on areas in our own lives where uh, where we might be relying on our own understanding rather than the trusting God completely, as we surrender those areas to him and choose to trust in his guidance, even when it does not align with human reasoning. So this passage really encourages us to submit all our ways to God, which involves seeking his guidance in our decisions, big or and small, and aligning our choices with his will. And as we, as we spend time in our daily lives, let's make a habit of seeking God's direction through prayer and studying his word before making important decisions. And when we're, diff- when we're faced with those uncertainties, let's trust that God will guide us and make our path straight, even if it doesn't seem always very clear at the moment. In summary, Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 calls us to trust God wholeheartedly, seek his guidance in all aspects of our lives and to submit our ways to his wisdom. And by doing so, we can experience the assurance that God will lead us in the right direction and make our path straight according to his perfect plan. So, as we start day three, let's take what we've learned and apply it to our lives. Because in the world we live in, we do need to hear a different voice amongst all the noises that is going on. I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow as we carry on with this series about Are You Ready?